Hi guys, um, today I'm going to be doing a quick video for you on a laser pigmentation removal treatment that I recently had on my face. Um, I wanted to do a video on this treatment because when I was doing my own research before I went in for the treatment, I realized there was really nothing um, visual for me to look at in terms of the day-to-day -day progress of the recovery. Um, I thought that a video would be really helpful for anyone that is looking to do a similar treatment um, because, you know, it does take about a month all up to kind of recover from this. And I think that, you know, as females, we, we do like to know, you know, what the day to day will look like. Will we be able to wear makeup? Will we be able to go to work as per usual, I guess, and get on with our day to day, um, you know, errands and everything. So. Here we are. Um, the treatment was done about a month ago now, so I have fully recovered. But during the, um, I guess, the treatment, I took snapshots, I took video content, so you guys can kind of see what it looked like um, each day that I was healing. So first off, what was the treatment? Um, it was a laser pigmentation removal treatment. Now, there are numerous treatments out there for pigmentation removal. Um, I chose to go with a laser removal. I went to a clinic in Bondi Junction um, here in Sydney. Um, the clinic is called You by Sia. Now, Sia actually owns three clinics in New South Wales. There is one in Castle Hill, one in the CBD, and then, of course, the Bondi Junction Clinic. So if anyone's looking to do a similar treatment, definitely have a look at Sia's website or her social media channels um, to see what other treatments that might be available for you. Now, what is the treatment? So essentially, the laser actually gives you a superficial burn to the skin. Um, is it like laser hair removal? Um, absolutely not. The way it works is that it the laser is attracted to the pigment in your skin. So naturally, I'm quite a freckly person. I'm very pale naturally. Um, I rely solely on fake tan to get my color. Um, but with that being said, I have a lot of pigmentation on my face in particular. Now, I did not want to get this treatment because I am self-conscious of my freckles or that I don't like my freckles. Um, in actual fact, I do like my freckles. I, I think they're quite nice, um, especially in summer. It's quite nice to kind of, you know, have them pop out a little bit more. Um, but I guess the concern for me was that when you go and see Sia, she will put your skin under a UV light, um, which kind of brings everything out. So you can basically see all the pigmentation, all the sunspots, all the age spots that have not yet come to the surface. So for me, that was a little bit concerning because there's a lot under there that's not yet visible to the eye. So in combating that, this laser pigmentation removal just really helped to bring that back. Um, the freckles will come back with time, um, with sun exposure, um, whilst I'm using all this, the products from Sia to combat that, um, you know, it, they'll come back eventually. So there is actually no treatment available that completely removes pigment from your skin. Basically what it does is it will chisel away at the first layer of pigment that is I guess visible to the eye. So underneath my skin the pigment is all still there. Um, but I guess, you know, the, the pros of this treatment is that, you know, afterwards your skin is looking really clear, um, you've got a really nice and even um, complexion, um, you know, without um, makeup, I find that my skin's a lot clearer, I don't need to use as much makeup to now, I, I guess, cover, give myself coverage, um, and you know, I just feel a little bit better when I have nothing on my skin, I just feel like it's less, um, you know, freckly, and now it's just so much clearer, and I just feel much more confident without putting makeup on if I'm at the gym or you know even just at work sometimes I don't really like to put makeup on midweek so um, it's absolutely amazing it definitely works um, I would highly recommend going to see her but the treatment itself is a little bit I guess not invasive at all but it does require a recovery process which is why again I just really wanted to make this video because I could not find anything online to kind of give me any kind of expectations of what to expect. Um, I was really nervous about kind of not being able to wear normal makeup for two whole weeks at a time and, and the treatment I did was two two week blocks. So essentially it's a month that you have to kind of, you know, make sure you don't have any huge events coming up and you kind of do have to schedule this around your life. So the treatment itself, so like I said, two treatments. Um, the treatments last for five minutes approximately and they're two weeks apart. So um, you do need about, you know, 10 to 14 days to recover. So it is about a month all up. Um, 
The treatment itself is very painful, I won't lie. Um, it does hurt. It hurt a lot more than I was expecting, actually, and um, it's not pleasant at all. So, luckily it gets it's over and done with really, really quickly. Um, it does only take about five minutes, which is great. Um, and C is really good. She gets you through it. She calms you down. She talks you through it all. And, you know, it's you do get through it. But it's, for me to say that it's really painful, it is bloody painful. Um, it kind of feels like, if anyone's had a tattoo, it feels like you're getting a tattoo on your face, but the needle is on fire. So... Tattoo that's on fire, that's basically the only way I can explain it. Um, probably the worst part about it is that when the laser's burning your freckles off, um, it really smells like burning flesh. So it's to me that was the worst part because you've got this sensation on your face which is obviously a really delicate part of your body and then you've got this awful smell to accompany it. So to me that was the worst part. But like I said, she gets you through it only about five minutes max um, and the results are fantastic so in the next few clips I'm going to show you the day by day I think I ended up filming about seven days um, over the course of the two treatments so I didn't do like the full first round and then the full second round I kind of split them up but essentially the results and I guess the transition day by day was basically exactly the same round one versus round two um, just a little bit less in round two and um, yeah, I just show you kind of how I dealt with it and, and you know, how it looked with, with makeup on and, and whatnot. Um, and I hope it's really useful to you because I think that as females, we like to know what we're going to expect when it comes to our face. Um, but I could not recommend this treatment enough. I'm so happy with the results. Um, if you can stand the pain, I would highly recommend doing it. I'm just going to go do a quick workout before my facial treatment this morning. Um, I don't think you can work out afterwards, so uh, tiger in the back there. So uh, I'm gonna get that done now, and then we'll go to the treatment. Still, it's got nearly there. We're past halfway. Right, head straight. Now bottom of the chin. Okay. Great. Coming up just under the chin. Don't move. Don't move. Still, still. Yeah. If you breathe the ones to get to the other side. Hold tight. Hold tight. Me no. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now top lip. So just relax me like you sleep. We're at Bondi now. Um, it's about two hours post treatment, and my skin is really, really freckly. We'll have a bit of a look. I don't want to take my sunglasses off. Yeah. This is very self-conscious. But it's yeah. Um, that also, much dark is more off. So really dark. I might like to add better shades to it. Okay, so this is day two. It's definitely darkened. These ones around my lips are really dark. And you can see that, I don't know if you can see, but they're starting to rise a bit. Becoming quite dry and flaky. Doesn't hurt or itch or anything. Just looks quite strange. Okay, so today is day four. I didn't film footage yesterday on day three um, because it looked exactly the same as it did on Tuesday. I didn't really notice any difference, but I think that it's finally starting to kind of heal um, and flake off. Especially on my forehead, it's not that dark at all anymore. It kind of just looks like my skin does without any fake tan or makeup on, which is exactly what this is now. Um, so yeah, the treatment was done Monday, today's Thursday. I'm really hoping it's a bit clearer for the weekend. <laughs> hey everyone, it's day four again. Just wanted to give you another quick clip to show you what my skin looks like on day four. You've just seen it before, um, but this time I put just the mineral makeup on. So that's all I have on my skin. Nothing else, no primers, no foundation, simply just the mineral makeup that Sia has given me specifically for this. Um, 
it's a really really good product um, I am a bit skeptical of mineral makeup um, but um, it's really really good like as you can see I've got really good coverage um, it, I'm impressed um, I'm impressed with the coverage I have you saw my skin a few hours ago and it was pretty freckly so the fact that you know I've got this great coverage I've got some color on my face now is pretty good um, as I mentioned, Sia's own product um, that she has developed and I guess essentially like it's just better to use the mineral makeup and her products while you're going through this process because it just, you know, eliminates that extra, you know, interference in your skin if you like, if you, if you were to go and use other makeup products. So this is all I'm kind of doing while my skin's recovering for the next probably five more days after today um, and then I'll be going back and doing it all again. So thought I'd show you that. Today is day five of round two. So I didn't show you the rest of the day of round one, sorry, because it basically looked like this and how you've seen it in the other clips for a week. And then these guys, these, let's see if I can focus it. They just start to flake off. I've got a tiny bit of um, Sears mineral powder on, just a tiny bit. I've been out in the rain, so it's basically all come off anyway. But I mean, it's not horrendous. Excuse my terrible makeup application at the moment. Not as many, second time around, not as many of these, you know, um, flaky bits, um, a lot less than the first time around, but exactly the same effect, I guess. And that's day five, round two. Okay, so I thought I would just do one last video for you to show you my skin today. Um, it's completely healed. I don't have any more crusty, like flaking off bits at all. So today is Friday. Um, I had my second treatment on Tuesday last week. So I guess that's day like 13. No, that is really bad math. That would be day 11. Um, so really like I think yesterday it was kind of fine as well. So it really does for me, it took kind of nine to 10 days to kind of completely heal. Um, so as you can see, I mean, I've just been to the gym, so I'm a little bit red, but um, yeah, it's like quite clear. It's like pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So there you have it, everyone. That was my recovery process for the laser pigmentation removal treatment. Um, as you can see, you know, I did get on with my day-to-day -day life, did not interfere um, in any way really whatsoever. Um, if you can stick to just using that mineral makeup, you won't have any problems and, you know, schedule your big events kind of smack bang in the middle of the two treatments or from either side, you'll be absolutely fine. Um, if you do have any further questions, would love to answer them. So feel free to drop me a note um, here or on various other social channels um, would love to answer your questions but really hope you found that useful and um, good luck to anyone that's going to get this treatment because I know what it's like so thank you guys